the Paws in the Park Couch to 5K training program brought to you by Roper St. Francis Healthcare. Hi everybody, I'm Travis Borson with Animal Planet. And I'm Joey Sovine with Live 5 News. And we are so excited to help you get prepped for Celebrity Paws in the Park on March the 19th. So, Joey. Where do we get started? Where, that's a great question. That's what a lot of people ask themselves, right? Uh, number one, I can already tell right off the table, if we're gonna not forget something, <laughs> it would be this. Yeah. And your neighbors will appreciate it. Your yes. neighbors will, I mean, we don't want any, you don't wanna get any uh, fines out there yes. for not picking up the, the poop. So we'll just jump right in here. You know, when you get ready with your dog to go out on, on a walk or a run, uh, some basic stuff to most people, and I think we gotta cover it. Okay. Uh, one of the things to, to talk about when it comes to leashes, a lot of times people will take the leash, They'll get out there with their dog and they just hold it on the very end and let the just dog let do go. whatever they want. Yeah. Uh, so we really encourage a six or four foot leash. Okay. That way so you can keep just, them close. Yeah, keep them close for consistency too. Because if you go out on a walk and you're letting the dog do everything, you get ready for a run, then your dog steps in front of you and, you know, yes. now we need band aids instead of poop bags, <laughs> right? Um, so next is is a collar. I think people have the option to do a collar or uh, a, a harness. harness. Yep. Okay. Um, really owner's choice at okay. that point. There's no specific piece of equipment that's gonna make your dog be amazing, yeah. right? It's all about the, the, the prep work you do going into it. Does it matter what size your dog is? Does a harness work better for larger dogs? It's a great question. Um, a lot of times there's certain types of dogs that could even have short necks. Okay. Uh, a lot of flat nosed dogs. Um, so harnesses sometimes work really well with them. Okay. Sometimes the smaller dogs, Little dogs will sometimes slip out of these if they're not fit correctly. One of the don'ts, I'm sure you could see this one here, you know, I don't know if you would wanna wear this. I, I, I think I'll pass. I think, <laughs> I think I'll pass too. Uh, this is what they call a prong collar. Uh, we do not encourage this uh, for the 5Ks, the walking, the running, or really anything, only because it typically gets used incorrectly and it confuses the dog and can cause pain. Okay. So, um, and then last but not least, we need our treats. Yeah. Right, don't we? Yeah. So, uh, what, you know, we want to make sure that everybody out there has your treat pouch, has your food. If you say your dog's not food motivated, take your food out next time. Um, maybe that's the only way they're going to eat is if you go out for the walk and you use the food for the walk or run. With that, we can't wait to see you. I hope your preparation goes well and we'll see you on March 19th. When it's time to prep, here's what you need to keep in mind. Make sure your pup has a clean bill of health from your veterinarian. You want to make sure that you have a good leash. Four to six feet is perfect. Check your collar and harness and make sure it's safe. Nylon is the best, whatever you do, don't use a shock, pinch, or prong collar for your walk or run. One of the most important are those poop bags. Don't forget those, there's a good chance they're gonna work up a good bowel movement. And last but not least, take those favorite treats and your treat pouch so you're using positive reinforcement and creating a fun experience for your pup. The Paws in the Park, Couch to 5K training program brought to you by Roper St. Francis Healthcare.